Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be all about a whole bunch of shoes. We have a lot of boxes to get through that I'm looking at right now. So let's get right into it. The gist of it is that this season I chose to spend a lot of my fall fashion budget on new shoes because I felt like my shoes from last year were very worn, so I did a bit of a clear out, donated a whole bunch of pairs, and I've now got four new pairs that I'm about to show you with a mini review at the end of a pair that I've previously hauled. So I'm really excited to show you all of these. I have patiently been waiting to wear them so that I wouldn't show you dirty shoes. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go from least expensive to most expensive. So for those of you who may have been waiting to see the haul for what I bought from Chanel, that's what's going to be at the very end of this video. Starting at the very affordable end of things, we've got this line that's recently been introduced to Nordstrom in Vancouver at least called State. And I've seen it actually in a few stores, so it's not owned by Nordstrom, but it's really, really, really well priced. And this particular style is fantastic. So it's called the Safi, and the color is iron, but I'll link it down below along with everything else that I will mention today. Just love how they've designed these shoes. So let me show you. These are a true a light gray, such a classic color that you will get a ton of wear out of in the fall and winter. But I especially like the way they've done this really nice kind of, I guess I would call it a sweetheart neckline here but it makes the shoe a little bit more interesting. As well, you'll see this is a constant theme to this video and others that I do involving shoes. I am a huge fan of block heels because they are the least expensive to maintain, the easiest to walk in, and I just think they have great style. I love the chunky look of them. I think it adds a nice little bit of structure to your outfit. Um, so these are just absolutely ideal, just a really nice heel height as well, and they just feel very comfortable this is actually cushioned. It's not a pair of cheap shoes, but it's a pair of affordable shoes that feels really incredibly well made. I would compare these to like a Cole Haan quality or something like that um, for a little bit less and just really nice soft suede. If you're worried about suede, um, I'm not. I've had suede many years in a row and all I do is make sure to give it a good spray with a rain protector and then I find that they're just fine. Um, so second of all is a new pair of boots and I haven't got a ton of boots for this season. I bought the Stuart Wiseman ones in the anniversary sale, which I haven't worn yet, but I did want to get a new pair of rainproof boots. So if you've never heard of these different lines that do weatherproof boots and you live somewhere rainy, I think you should check it out. So there's a couple of lines that do it. The one that I have previous experience with is Aquitalia, one of my favorites. You guys know that if you've seen my videos, but I wanted to try this Canadian brand because it just became stocked at Nordstrom. So it's called La Canadienne. It's been around for many years now, but I really thought they had amazing stock and what the buyers decided to get for Nordstrom were really nice classic styles that weren't too like outdoorsy rustic so that I can get away with wearing these in a more polished kind of business casual environment. So I got a seven and usually I get a seven and a half. So I would say size down a half size and I really love these. I think they're a little bit different. They have a little bit more of an edge with the platform and the corrugated front, but these are also great because they'll be anti-slip. I really love the matte acrylic of the heel as well. I think they'll be really durable and nice. It won't get scuffed like a leather heel would, um, as well as giving it a bit of a modern look. Um, I like where they end on the leg as well. They're just really leg lengthening. This and some skinny black pants is going to be intensely leg lengthening and I just really like the nice detailing on it so it's got really subtle branding just a tiny little label here on the zip and the zip feels very smooth and nice and as I said what attracted me to the brand was that they are weatherproof so I can walk in these in the rain no problem assuming that they're as good quality as Aquitalia which I believe that they will because this brand just has tremendous reviews so that concludes it for for my practical shoe decisions and now we're gonna get into slightly more frivolous territory but I have a story for these so Joe actually saw these shoes at Holt Renfrew in Toronto I believe they were in my girl boss vlog and I fell in love with them but they did come my size they only had a size 40 
then it was like fate intervened because you guys know I like that website, The Real Real. I've just had good experiences with the customer service there and shipping time is really fast and they just do a good job, I think, of accurately representing the condition of the shoes. So the box for these is pretty beaten up. They are Gucci though and they are coming in the original packaging and they are unworn. So these are the Gucci Malaga Kid Nero, so black um, mules and they're so gorgeous so originally i believe these retailed for just under a thousand canadian dollars and i picked them up for 500 which i thought was amazing um so they come in the original dust bags and everything they're so perfect you guys i cannot believe someone owned these and never wore them like how is that even possible but they didn't you can see the soles are totally unworn and they're so gorgeous look how fabulous so they're essentially pretty much identical to the princetown style it comes quite high up on the foot it's got the horse bit detailing and gold um, all of the gucci signature stitching um, at the front here but instead of being completely flat it has a really nice block heel that has a nice sexy curve to it and i think what makes these special to me is that they're a little bit dressier so they're going to be a lot easier for me to wear than the totally flat princetowns it really depends on your lifestyle. I've heard such amazing reviews about the Princetown. I was really excited to get a variation of them that I thought was a little bit dressier. So I really, really love these. I was so excited to find them and I do believe they are discontinued. So there is a new mule from Gucci out now that has some pearls on it. It's really pretty too, but it goes lower down on the foot. So it's a bit more exposed and it's not as kind of basic as I would say these are like basic classic. Um, so very, very excited about those. The new collection came out at Chanel. I had my eye on a pair of boots that I will link for you down below just for your interest in case you're into Chanel like I am. Um, but they didn't have that pair of boots in style, so I just asked on a whim if they happened to have any classic black ballet flats because those come in and out of the store and it's really, really hard to find a pair in my size. Um, I've managed to find the blue ones, as you know, last season, and I absolutely have loved them. So I am on the Chanel ballet flats bandwagon now i think they're amazing they're so buttery and comfortable and my blue ones still look perfect so obviously they're a luxury shoe but they're a luxury shoe that brings me a lot of joy and gets me to wear flats where i really had never worn flats that much before i'm more of a heels girl so so with all that said here's the bag and i did a little unboxing on instagram so if you're wondering why it's not wrapped up beautifully anymore that is why um so it's got the camellia on the top and it's all Chanel-esque and here's a little dust bag and let me wrap them and show you in their little bed what they look like and they're just so gorgeous they're just very very classic I'm really excited to have a pair in black for fall and winter I'm obviously going to baby these a little bit more than I do most of my shoes but ultimately I really believe that beautiful things are meant to be worn and that's how I'm going to treat these after I get a rubber sole put down on the front so I usually wear these a couple of times then bring them to my cobbler and he puts a rubber sole right here and it really thickens them and protects them really really well because my blue ones still look beautiful and brand new no scuffs and I really wanted a pair that had the patent toe so I've seen a few variations on their black classic ballet flat this is my favorite combination with the buttery leather and the patent leather toe I think the shine is really nice very classic Chanel my size is 37 and a half everything I've mentioned is seven and a half with the exception of the La Canadienne booty which is a seven for whatever reason that fit me. Now I know a lot of you saw my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul and so I wanted to make a quick quick review of these Louise and Company heels. I've worn them a lot. They're actually a bit dirty on the inside and I have to say these are fantastic. If you want a pair of round toe pumps for fall, whether you want something that's a statement like these, which is like, it's kind of like a metallic camo. That's what Joe tells me at least that it's a camo. I don't think it looks camo-esque at all. I think it looks more um, like almost an animal skin, but it's got 
really interesting colors. It's got some nude in it, some green, some brown, and some silver. They're gorgeous. They sparkle so much. They're extremely comfortable. I walk to and from work in these, um, and they're just still perfect. I am very seriously considering getting the black ones. They also come in a gray. So if you don't want something that has more of a pointy toe or these ones are not to your taste, um, then you might like these. And like I said, I think they come in five colors and my favorites are the gray, but I have these gray ones now, the black, which I'm very likely going to get, and these ones, which are just there to die for. They're so gorgeous and they look so great with pretty much any fall color palette. All right, so little mini sneaky review snuck in there. I hope you don't mind my making this video a little bit longer, but I enjoy talking about shoes, so I really enjoyed filming this video for you today. I hope that you found it helpful. If you'd like to see my next installment on style, then make sure you subscribe and give this video a like, and I will see you in my next video.